and that sound can mean only one thing. You know who it is. It's the Daily Rant, the 31709 edition, season three, episode yes, up to 18 already. Seated to my right, you've seen him many, many, many times now, Billy Berg, and to my left, making her first appearance here on the rant is my very, very patient fiance, Jennifer. <laughs> Today, I'm going to get into it. I'm going to dive right into it. Uh, people have been asking. I'm going to tell you what's going on with WrestleMania 25 right now. Um, and the card is looking like a snooze fest as it starts out with um, the possibility of JBL defending the Intercontinental title against Rey Mysterio. I'm so excited. I love seeing JBL in the ring. Yeah, JBL without his man, without his bro on, is uh, is always an appetite. Did you see? He conveniently when he came down the ring last night, he had the towel draped down over the man titties, which was fantastic. I was like, he was saving us <laughs> until he actually got another. Yeah, it wasn't right. Yeah, he he can't show his titties on the air with and keep the PG rating. No, that's see, they're already violating their PG rating, which is uh, which is terrible. Don't they have man bras? They do have man's ears. I believe we covered that in a Seinfeld episode. But um, is Kramer and uh, Jerry Stiller. Uh, okay, see now we're now we're, we're getting off. We're getting on Seinfeld. Anyway. Okay, moving right along with the WrestleMania card. Thanks. Um, <laughs> the 25 Diva Battle Royal winner becomes the first WrestleMania. Is everybody excited about this? Wait, what? The 25 Diva Battle Royal, where the winner becomes the first ever Miss WrestleMania. You're gonna just get that. Yeah, that's. If, if I was there and I didn't have front row tickets, I bet I'd be running to the concession stand. Yeah. That's that's about it. Um, I'm not going to waste any more time yeah. in that. If I was sitting first couple of rows, I'd stick around. Yeah. Because you could get a good enough look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But if you're sitting nosebleeds like I did for 23, it wouldn't even be worth it. Um, Undertaker and HBK, we got the 16-0, and 0, possibly 17-0 and 0 streak against Mr. WrestleMania, Shawn Michaels. I don't see Undertaker dropping a match at WrestleMania. No. I don't. He's been with the company. I think he should. Really? What would make mm -hmm. you say that? Because I do, <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I love her. Um, okay, so we've we've agreed that he's not going to drop this match. They they're if 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 we've it, agreed, we've agreed, but it's a two it's a two thirds majority. So this is like Congress right now. Yeah. <laughs> you can't filibuster. It doesn't work that way. This is my show. So why so we got Y two J against the, it, it's a triple it's a, a three on one handicap. It's going to turn into five on one because they got Jimmy Snooker, Ricky Steamboat, Roddy Piper with Ric Flair, and now he said, I'm buying Mickey Rourke a front row ticket to the show. So... You know, I like this. I like it when people go to elderly communities and read books to them and call out bingo numbers. But Chris Jericho wants to go and, and beat the shit out of them. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. 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 But at least he's interacting with the elderly. I know you're a Y2J fan. Any thoughts on that? Y2J? No. <laughs> Okay, so apparently not. Um, how about no? How about no, you crazy Dutch bastard? Jeff Hardy versus Matt Hardy, brother versus brother, gumble to gumble. <laughs> and this whole thing started because Vince has a hard on for fucking, or actually doesn't have a hard on for Christian. He fucking, he's like impotent when it comes to Christian. Anything with an idea of Christian holding a title is like squashed. I mean, he's like, I'll let you fight Jack Swagger, who I masturbate to pictures of, <laughs> but I'm not going to give you his fucking ECW title, which I've already dumped on anyway. Ever since I held the fucking title, because I'm Vinnie Mac. Well, it's 15 years, the anniversary of 15 years, since Hart versus Hart at WrestleMania 10. It's good brother versus brother. I think this has better potential than that did. Yeah. Better sure. in ring. Oh, yeah. It's stupid. And pointless. <laughs> <laughs> this is the outsider's opinion I wanted, and hey, I'm getting it. Uh, Money in the Bank ladder match. MVP, Shelton Benjamin, Kofi Kingston, Christian, Finley, CM Punk, Kane, and my favorite to win, Mark Henry. Um, I'm not seeing this go to Mark Henry uh, because they're not going to have a ladder that can support his big ass, Didn't frankly. Did CM Punk win it last year? Yeah. Yes. He won it last year, so they can pretty much count him out as, as winning this one. I, I don't see them putting it on him twice because his title reign last year really didn't amount to much. Um, yeah. I don't know, maybe. You don't think he amounted to much? His title reign really, it was kind of, I thought it was kind of an afterthought, the way yeah. he lost the belt. You know, his, he didn't, he really, didn't even lose the belt. No, he, just, he, he was injured, so he yeah, had to, he had to fork it over. Yeah, they, he was stripped of the title. So, to me, that's just them saying, you know what, we kind of dropped the yeah. ball. We gave you the belt, it's not going over like we thought it would. Yep. It didn't work, so they're not going to, he's not going to win it again. Um, I don't see them 
Kofi Kingston, I don't see him winning. He's in there for uh, being a high flyer. Okay, we can take that down as your pick. Finley's not going to win it. Um, what about Cornswoggle? Cornswoggle, I hope not. Um, I'd like to see MVP win myself. But he's not going to... Mm. Who's MVP? Oh. MVP, no maybe Christian. If if Vince would fucking get over it, yeah, Christian could win. Christian's in that one? Yeah. Then we've got the WWE Championship, a no DQ match now under Orton's Law, Triple H and Randy Orton. I don't really That's care. Orton Law. It's basically going to be a no DQ match. I don't really care about this match because how many times have we seen Orton and Triple H for the fucking belt? The pay per view. Okay. Enough times. Triple H just needs to take that sledgehammer and we'll hit him with it. And <laughs> you don't hear voices in your head? They don't talk to you? Tell you things? Randy Orton's theme music. Moving right along. <laughs> We've got a world title triple threat match with Edge versus Cena in the Big Show, and I'm gonna drop the I'm gonna I'm gonna drop the spoiler on this one. Um, Edge is gonna drop the title at Mania because he's injured. He's been whether that is true or not. Well, in, ha- in, the, in all the house shows, Edge has only been wrestling tag team matches well, with God, very, limited, very Maybe limited participation. That's what they're doing. They're you know how they can't keep anything yeah. secret anymore. Yep. Maybe that's what they're he's doing. He's faking injuries. He could be, you know. They're sending this rumor out there yep. that he's going to drop the belt and everyone's going to well, know he's not going to win. Well, should hopefully be true because it sucks. Edge is one of the best he's heels in the company. Heel. He's a great heel. He's, I if can't you take, stand him. I can't stand him. Exactly. Exactly. That, that, exactly. That's it. I Just understand, like, but I, I'm like to the point where he shouldn't even be on there. Like, I flip the channel when his face appears. You know, I can segue this into another, into another another piece I'd like to do. Um, what does that have anything to do with a scooter? <laughs> <laughs> I can get on my Segway and ride to my fucking x Men. <laughs> I'm missing a card here. This is great. I told yeah. We dropped the ball on this one. The beauty of live TV. This is, this is fucking <laughs> awesome. Okay, so what I was going to with that was, oh. And, and it, that's that's not even funny. The, this may be Jen Swaggle's last appearance. The, I, I think we're going to go back to just a two-man show. There's a reason why there's mu- there's more much more testosterone than estrogen on the show. Okay, I'm going to segue that. I question your estrogen level. Can anyway, we cut? Segwaying right along. Segwaying right along <laughs> from the injuries to the can't being able to stay on the heel character. We went to MCPW's... Um, show last weekend at the Craft Center, the Chainsaw Cup 2009, and I'd like to throw another plug out there for an upcoming show May 16th in Kalkaska, Michigan at the Coliseum. It's Battleground 3, Trace, for our Spanish viewers. MCP champion Jimmy Jacobs is going to take on Tyler Black. Now, we've seen Jimmy Jacobs wrestle last year there. Mm -hmm. He's a ring of honor. You know, he's been on MTV. Tyler Black, former Age of the Fall teammates. We've got that match lined up for the card. we got as announced last weekend, old timer Jeff King versus All Night Adam Reynolds. See, Adam Reynolds is the edge kind of heel, I think, in every promotion. Yeah, he, he's, he's a good heel. He, I mean, he plays it off well. For the crowd that was there, he, he I'd say he worked the crowd pretty well. Who was he? He was uh, the one that was oh, yeah, He was on the turnbuckle flex in front of us. Oh, yeah, live under that? Okay, and he uh, he did the bit with the guy, in the, uh, the mild mannered Matt guy in the ring. Goo, sounds like Pat. Okay, go on. <laughs> Plus an action lab, No Limits champion Steve Amani, Michigan's number one tag team, the Ringside Review, Gavin Starr and Keith Crane, who we've seen wrestle two or three times now. They're a damn good tag team. I've only seen them once. Okay, well, the other shows are going to you. Yeah. Mr. No Limits, Brian Skyline, who was one of the finalists in the Chainsaw Cup, Caden Ames, former uh, No Limits champion, Caden Ames, Shane Hollister, the big man Magnum Conroy, James Dillinger, Louis Linden, the Main Street Youth, Scotty Young, and Jake Oman, who are a fantastic tag team. They worked a great match with the uh, Osirian Portal at the, at the, <coughs> uh, the, at the pay-per-view the last Saturday night. Yeah, that was hardly pay-per-view. Hey, we paid to view it. Yeah, so it's technically. But let's not get caught bogged down in semantics here. We've also got the North Star Express, <laughs> Team Make or Break, the Kosher Club. <laughs> I don't even know about Kosher. The MCP Commissioner, Mikey Zero, plus a t- uh, an appearance by Mick Foley. Um, MTV stars Art Cannon and Josh Abercrombie Raymond, Japan star CJ Otis, and plus the Chainsaw Cup champion Christian Abel will be in action on that card. I'm sure of it. Line, it's sounding like it's going to be a pretty good, uh, pretty good battleground be, event. It'll be worth it. It's going to be a big card. Hopefully, there'll be more yeah. people there though, because without, it's kind of boring when people don't cheer for them. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it part makes of the indie circuit. Yep. 
you deal with smaller crowds, so that's just the way it goes. Um, but I mean, from a quick a quick perspective, from an outside look, did you actually did you enjoy the show though? I mean, did you? I were you into it? I mean, I know you're not the biggest wrestling fan. You just watch it because I am. But mm -hmm. it was all right. But I mean, for a small town, they just needed the advertisement. Yeah. Yep. That's the one thing. Cool. So you guys at MCPW, I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna keep throwing stuff out there, and uh, hopefully we'll get a little, you know next time you come back to Ross Comedy, get you a little bit better crowd. Um, we're running out of time. Thanks everybody for commenting. Um, hey, it's been great. Billy Berg, Jen. And I'm out. Peace, bitches. That's it. We're done.